The Kansas City Royals had four of the top 56 selections in the 2014 draft and came away with a very impressive quartet of players, three of which are power arms at the top of the draft. Their draft began with the 17th selection with Brandon Finnegan, a left-hander from TCU. Finnegan was getting buzzed in the top 10 selections early in the season when he was striking out hitters at a prodigious rate and showing three-plus pitches. Questions about his durability, as he is 5'10", and questions about his shoulder, which did bark a little bit, causing him to lose a few starts down the stretch, caused him to slide. But he is a top-10 talent who can sit in the low to mid-90s, touching 96 and 97, with one of the better sliders in the entire class. And he has a strong track record of performance. The Royals doubled up on left-hander when they went to the high school ranks down to the Central Florida area to draft Foster Griffin. Griffin has a strong, durable, and athletic build that you love to see in a pitcher. His fastball velocity did fluctuate a little bit throughout the course of the season, from average at 89 to 92 to even better, sometimes sitting 90 to 92, touching 94. He has advanced feel for strike-throwing ability, and his changeup shows at least above-average potential, as does his curveball, which flashes plus but does not play at that level consistently yet. Louisiana prep catcher Chase Vallow became the first position player the Royals drafted with their pick at number 40. With Vallow, although he plays an up-the-middle position, you're buying the bat. He has a chance to hit, and he has plus-plus raw power. Vallow improved his body considerably over the course of the last year, losing as many as 15 pounds to get his body in great shape. Scouts love his makeup and his passion for the game, and he is very young for the class and will not turn 18 until the fall. In the second round, the Royals were able to grab another pitcher whose talent fit much higher than where the Royals drafted him, but whose status was clouded by a shoulder injury. Right-hander Scott Blewett from upstate New York has a great pitcher's build at 6'6", 220 pounds, strong and durable. His fastball at times will sit in the low to mid-90s, touching 94 and 95, with a chance for an above-average curveball, and is a good athlete for his size. He did miss close to a month of the season with an injury, and sometimes his fastball velocity would fall into the high 80s, but on pure talent, he likely fits much higher than 56, 